The Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey, and in fruit every single week, Lady Users, Power of Engineer, and help you, yes, you find the things you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so this week, um, one of the projects that people really liked on the socials, on the threads, and the blue skies, is our little mini USB hub. Um, let's go to the overhead. It's skeet. Oh, sorry, on the skeets. Uh, so let's go to the overhead, and I'll show off this design. Um, so. so this is a really simple uh, USB mini hub. So it's got um, USB-C here. That's the host to the host. And then here are four ports with power, data plus, data minus, and ground. And this is just using an SL 2.1 chip, which is a very inexpensive, common USB hub chip that's like, all it does is the ports. And it's, it's not very smart. I, I hate to call things dumb, but it's not a very smart chip. It's a very basic chip. Um, it doesn't do anything like over current protection. It doesn't do anything like indicating uh, when the port's active. You can't change the VID, PID, or enumeration strings. It's very simple. Um, and it's also a little big. Like, it only really comes in this large SOIC. And one thing that I, I you know, wanted to note is that while these USB hubs are, of course, good if you're like, oh, I have a lot of things on my desk or I want to integrate a product and I have a keyboard and mouse, I want them to, you know, um, go through one port or maybe you're doing some like security hacking and you want it to look like a keyboard, but really it's a disk drive or whatever. Having a USB hub in your embedded design could be really useful. Like, for example, if you have a microcontroller that has native USB and you also have um, a debug port that's over USB to serial. Now you have two USB ports and it could be like, it could be all clunky looking. Um, it might not be expensive to just have a hub chip instead. And I've seen, I've definitely seen dev boards that have the native USB and then a debugger through like FT232H or whatever, or um, a SimSys DAP chip. They would use a little hub on the dev board and that allows you to have both um, USB ports, you know, connected without having to worry about like, which is the debug, which is the upload, oh, there's like too many ports. So um, that can be handy. Note, of course, that if your native USB can be a host, this isn't going to work for you because it's only for like client downstream, right? Does the data can't go, you can't have two hosts connected. But I still think it'd be interesting, um, especially if you're having uh, embedded Linux chips and they, they do come quite small um you're using an embedded linux board and it has a usb host port or host pins and you want to connect keyboard mouse um touch controller camera whatever and you want it to only go through one usb um you want to have only one usb connection to the um upstream host controller um these chips will do a good job so let's check out uh what we can find on digikey USB hubs. So let's go to the computer and let's go find USB hub. Now, of course, you're going to have the hubs themselves, like desktop hubs. That's what most people uh, think of. And, and of course, you can use those too, but we want to have just the chips. Um, so let's go to controllers. I think that's actually what it is. So this is an interface controller. And yeah, now we're talking like hub controller. Uh, QFN. Now, there's a couple companies that kind of like dominate this as Infineon and TI and Microchip. So let's uh, let's just look for active PC. Sorry, USB. Uh, let's look for stuff that's in stock and exclude marketplace. So we're just looking for what's available like right now. And for uh, USB interfaces, all these look good. It can do USB two or three. Um, if you need three, of course select that um a lot of these are standalones but yeah you'll see like infinian microchip renaissance and ti are kind of like the the big ones in this market um so the ones you know they're all going to work quite well all of them are going to obey like the usb specification um but one thing i kind of liked was there is this series the 25 one x's from microchip and these come in a very cute like 28 QFN, this is really tiny. And this is a two port hub. Again, 
could be good for i've seen this on dev boards where it's like one there's a two port hub to one usb c or micro b and it connects with the debug and the device um usb or the debug and the usb serial converter through one connection um and uh so this is from smc originally and then got put, purchased by microchip um so very simple like this 28 pin one is just like it's just upstream you put a crystal usually you do have to have a crystal on these because you have to give good timing and then um downstream phi and that's it and then each one does have um there's the data pins there's the detection pins this is what you're going to get for if you're going from like the sl 2.1 to something like this usb 2xx series you're going to get more pins that tell you what's going on so you can uh do power enabling and disabling you can do overcurrent sensing um and you can do uh you know bootstrap it's like i guess you can make it so devices can't be removed um filters of course the crystal reset pin which is kind of nice if you want you're using it in a embedded setup i've I've noticed sometimes it's nice to be able to like reset the USB, especially when devices start acting finicky, they can take down the hub. And this one doesn't have any configuration that can be done over I squared C, but there is, um, I think this one, the 2512. Uh, let me find it. Yeah. This one, it actually has an interesting configuration setup. You can either connect like your standard 24LC04 EEPROM, and the EEPROM has the register values that you want in it, or you can control it from an I squared C controller, and you can set up all sorts of um, specifications like, let me scroll down. Yeah. Um, so you can set up the max power output, the um, USB enumeration, whether you want to have it be able to do battery charging so like no data lines are connected, but you're still providing power. Um, and it looks like you can do some like port mapping and port swapping. Let's see what port mapping is. Port mapping, the downstream ports can be reordered, disabled in a sequence for multiple platform design. Hmm. Oh, it looks like you can swap port one and two and three and four, which could be, could be handy for your, for your configuration. But particularly what I like is that you can set up um, the USB uh, VID and PID, and that can be handy. So like when people plug it in, if you are using it to like combine two chips on one dev board, it's not going to show up as the microchip. Like people are going to say, oh, I thought this was an Adafruit design, but when I plug it in, it says like microchip hub. Instead, you can have it where you use your VID and PID, so it'll still say, you know, Adafruit ESP32 dev kit with built-in debugger. Um, and it'll show up in there on the USB, um, uh, the pop-up that comes up on uh, Mac or Windows. So this one, you know, even though, um, this has a little bit more pins. I actually really like this one. I think I, I did do a design um, for this. Let me see if I can find it. Development. Uh, dev board. No, it was under breakout. No, not the MCP. Ah, I did do... Um, a design again i couldn't get chips for a while in 2021 i did a quick layout of this this family let me see if eagle can wants to load up so you can see it's it's similar to um the breakout i showed earlier except uh at the time i was using micro usb i wanted to keep it nice and slim it's got that cute qfn chip and then I squared C you can configure over um, like the stem QT or you, you know, have it broken out over here. But this is a uh, two port uh, converter with USB host broken out and I squared C configurability. So I like this one. This is going to be my pick. Uh, this one. And 
and it's pretty inexpensive. It's, you know, you, you can get ones that I think go down to like a dollar fifty, depending on, you know, number of ports and whether it has the I squared interface. Uh, but this one I like, and it's plenty in stock. So check out uh, the 25 USB 2 XXX series. There's two port, three port, and four port versions. Um, but I think if you're going to integrate this into your own development board, this USB port gives you debug and serial or mouse and keyboard. Um, and all you need one port, it's only a couple bucks. So check out this cool USB hub. Could be very handy for your next design. And that's our show for this evening. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We very much appreciate your time. We'll see everybody during the week. We have Ask Engineer Show and Tell, 3D Hangouts, JP's Workshop, Deep Dive. We also have a ton of other things going on. A lot Lots of some surprises. Of and you're on, we're on all the socials. If people are like, are you on the yes? Yeah, we're on whatever's. The Thread Sky. Yeah, we're on the skibbity pap. Skibbity bat. <laughs> All right. Dash dash. We'll, we'll talk to everyone later. Thanks so much. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Have a great week.